Hello, my name is Carlos, and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. On today's episode of Kingdoms and Friends, we have something special. We're playing a game of Artisan Commander. The interesting part about Artisan Commander is there's only one extra restriction. You can't play with any rares or any mythics in your deck. Even your commander has to be an uncommon commander. And to be clear, the most recent version doesn't have to be a common or uncommon. It just has to have been a common or uncommon sometime in Magic's history. Not only are we trying out Artisan for the first time, we have one of the creators and champions of the format, Alex Kessler, on the show today. Alex Kessler typically goes by Kess Wiley Online, is a business owner of a toy company, he's a Game Nights alumni, and co-host of the Masters of Modern podcast. Most recently, they have a super cool new board game called Battle Bosses that they just released, and you should go and check it out. You can find Kess across the socials at Kess Wiley. Our second guest on the show today is EK, or EK Plays Cards. EK is an up-and-coming EDH content creator with a great presence on TikTok, Twitter, Twitch, and more. On top of great content, he has an amazing editing ability and style. So if you want to check out some new awesome EDH content, check him out on all the socials online at EK Plays Cards. With that, let's check out our commanders and our starting hands for our game today. First off, we have Alex or Kess Wiley playing Vega the Watcher. Alex's starting hand includes two planes, Azorius Guildgate, Coastal Tower, Raven's Form, Archetype of Imagination, and Scholar of the Ages. Second, we have Jeff playing Sir Conrad the Grim. Jeff's starting hand includes three swamps, Stitcher Supplier, Reassembling Skeleton, Skeleton Shard, and Workshop Assistant. Third, we have Carlos from Kingdoms playing Maja Bredegard Protector. Carlos' starting hand includes two forests, Evolving Wilds, Tangle, Three Visits, Fungal Rebirth, and Timeless Witness. Fourth, we have EK or EK Plays Cards playing Bartel Runax. EK's starting hand includes two mountains, Myriad Landscape, Skull Clamp, Viserysir, Goblin Matron, and Goblin Ringleader. With that, let's check out some Artisan EDH. Jump into it whenever you're ready, you guess. All right. Oh, I, I did already. I okay. Oh, cool. Play a uh, coastal tower. Do for the turn and pass. All right. Draw. Play a swamp and pass. It's me. I'll draw. Let's do evolving wilds, and I'll crack it and get a planes, and it'll come in tapped, and I'll pass the turn. I will draw for turn. Uh, I'll play a mountain and pass. Draw for the turn. I will play. Planes, and I will foretell this mystery card. Begins. Oh, who knows what it is? I don't know what it is. <laughs> and I'm done. All right, drawing, play a swamp, and then play everyone's favorite skeleton, the reassembling skeleton. Go, Carlos. Untap, draw a card. I'll play a forest as land for turn. Cast three visits. I can get my one I'm dual land. Never mind, it'll come in taps. It's the last card of Arctic Tree Line. Nice. Yep. And then hey, I'm done. Nice. nice call. I will draw for turn. I'll play a myriad landscape and pass. I will draw for the turn, untap. I will play this here planes. And then I will Mother of Runes and play this second card, of course, holds. Mm. Pass the turn. All right, untap. Draw. I'm going to play the best land in the format in an ancient tomb. I'll play Oval Chase Daredevil. I'm gonna, Carlos, I'm going to attack you with my reassembling skeleton for one. Picking a fight. I needed somebody to attack first, so thank you for taking that choice right away from me. All right, go, Carlos. Put and draw a card. Yeah, I'll play Ranger's Path. Search my library for two forests and put them in tapped. I will get two forests tapped and pass turn. I'll uh, draw for turn. This mountain's prettier, so we'll play that. And then we'll tap to tap the myriad landscape and sacrifice it to go get, uh, let's do two forests. It gets me two forests closer to be able to play like the whole reason why I even wanted to play green in the first place. And I hope that card comes up so that you guys can see why. Yeah. You made a goblin deck wanting to play green. Yeah, basically. <laughs> okay. Are you done after that? Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Raw, I will 
play this Grasslands tapped. He he fetch lands of the format, and I will right. play a Vega, and I'll pass. Vega. I will untap. I'm fetching in every format. I don't want draw. Yeah. I'll play a Swamp, and I will similarly will play my Commander in Sir Conrad. Got to keep sharing some love out there, I think. Uh, Carlos, I'll attack you with the Race Sibling Skeleton, and EK, I'll attack you with the Oval Chase Daredevil. It's a 4-2. I will take 4. Oh, yeah. You had uh, your Ancient Tomb. I was like, how do you get this stuff out so fast? My turn? Yep, go. I'll untap, draw. I'm going to play Fertilid. I'm just going to two counters. And I'm going to play... Never Winter Dryad. Fertilid can remove counters to get lands into play tapped. Never Winter Dryad can sacrifice itself to get a basic forest tapped. That will be my turn. I will untap, keep draw for turn. Missed a land drop in my lands deck. What the heck? Ah, uh, you're still ahead of the rest of us, so it works out. Uh, I'll play, I'll play Mountain and uh, I'll play Rakdos Signet, and then. Three. I'll play Grumgully, the generous. Ooh. One of the one of the commanders that I thought about playing. Yeah. But uh, I do for the turn. I will play yeah. uh, Myriad Landscape. I'm going to suspend Riftwing Riftwing Cloudscape, nice. and then I will pass the turn. All right. Draw. Tapping the swamp for Ditcher Supplier. Is that Mill the. Uh, it's just me. Uh, put the top we three. can take damage here, though. Yep, uh, which will be one for that for a Santorium Skeleton. So everyone takes one, and I gain one. And then I'm going to play a Witch's Cottage. When there's the battlefield untapped, I can return a, I, I can take a creature out of my uh, graveyard and put it on top of my library, which will trigger Sir Conrad again. So you'll all take one. Cool, 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 cool. This is fine. Everything's fine. I'm going to play a card I wish was not in my hand, but it is. So if you want to kill it, please do. I'm going to play Stinkweed Imp. That's a and... weird death touch. Better death touch. Uh, dredge, I, I, I'm pretty sure you're playing it for the Dredge 5, though, if I'm not if not, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, if you want, please, please absolutely kill it and let me, let me you know, Dredge 5. I'd love that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to Sir Conrad at EK, Oval Chase Daredevil at Carlos. That's it. Actually, just those two. Uh, I'll take my five. Dude. Stay away. It's, a, <laughs> it's just a vanilla creature right now, right? Um, I will block with the Dryad. Before damage, I'll sack it to get a forest into play. With that, you guys will all lose another life thanks to Carlos sacking. And I'll get a life. After that, I'm done for my turn, Carlos. So tap, draw for turn. Yes, you should be at 37, by the way. Oh, cool. I think I will cast my commander, get a couple, hopefully, blockers out here. I think I just pass. That's concerning. I'll untap, upkeep, draw for turn. I mean, we have to do the cool thing, right? That's that's how we're playing. I think so. Always, always do the cool thing. All right, tap one, two, and play Goblin Recruiter. Yeah, when it cool. comes into play, search your library for any number of Goblin cards you choose. Reveal those cards, then shuffle your library and put them on top in any order you choose. I'm about to ask a rulings question. So I have a tribal enchantment Goblin. I don't believe Recruiter can go find it. But it is. It does say goblin on it. Oh, it can. I think it can. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's let's grab that. That sounds fun. Yeah. So I'm I'm gonna do the cool thing. I'm gonna put goblin, Cherugin, goblin instigator, Bogart shenanigans, and goblin and narcomancer on top of my library. I'm just gonna shuffle and do that thing first. All right. So we're shuffled. Uh, these are on top of my library. I'm going to pay four, and I'm going to Goblin Ringleader. Here it is. Grum Gully is putting counters on these as well, by the way, because these are not humans. So this Recruiter is actually a 2-2, uh, a and then Ringleader will be a 3-3. Three, three. And then when it enters the battlefield, reveal the top four cards of your library. Put all the Goblin cards revealed this way into your hand, and the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. Oh, look at that. Four goblin cards. So those will go to my hand. And then I will move through my phases and go to my end step. I'm going to... should have. I should have only grabbed three of these, shouldn't I? Because I have to discard a card here. I think you uh, still get them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to discard Viserys here. I think uh, that's okay. one. Yeah, we will all We will all take a damage. You'll take one. Uh, Sir Connor's the worst. <laughs> I'm going to hold up my blockers. 
I feel like that's important right now with Sir Conrad doing its thing. Are you done after that? Yeah. I got a uh, glacial floodplain, which is the uh, dual land that you can fetch for. We oh. untap, it goes down, draw. I will exile Grim Gully with Raven form. You get a 1 1 bird. We uh, exile. Uh, draw. Yeah, it's yeah. exile. I draw from Vega. I have a Burt token. I don't have a bird token. I'll play Azorius Guildgate, and then I'll play Quiet Speculation, which lets me search target player's library. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna target me. For three flashback spells and put them into their graveyard. That one's so good. I'm going to find the cards with flashback. Nice bird. So I got Otherworldly Gaze, Prismatic Strands, and Deep Analysis. And then I will pass. All right, okay. right Jeff. Ooh. All right, I'm tapping. I'm going to play Sequestered Stash. I'm going to pay four along with Sequestered Stash and sacrifice it. And then I can put the top five cards in my library into my graveyard. And if there's an artifact card, I can put it back. Uh, I can put an artifact card from my graveyard back on top. I'm going to put an Undercity Informer, which is a creature, which will trigger Sir Conrad. A Carrion Feeder, which is a creature, which will trigger Sir Conrad. Cauldron Familiar, creature, trigger. Demon's Disciple, trigger. And Morbid Opportunist, trigger. So there's five you, creatures. You hit five actually. creatures? Holy yeah, mother. I um, offsets the. He, he's been offset this ancient damage. All damage. yeah, I have. We each take five. Yeah, just what he does. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna attack with. I'm gonna attack with the imp to Kess. The imp is attacking me. I take. Yeah, take one. If you want to block, I mean, please. But <laughs> I am very well acquainted with uh, uh, this little little imp friend of ours. <laughs> I know where it wants to be, and I know where I don't want it. Now that you've not uh, attacked me, I am going to use Fertilid and get a yeah. dude. Go get your dudes, and then I'm actually going to be done for my turn after that, so you can go Carlos. Okay, down to planes. That'll trigger a Maja. Breticard Protector. Untapping. I thought that with my deck I would... I'm um, sorry, this removes a counter when I do that. I um, not want to draw lands, but I... Have, not drawing lands. Just a reminder, my commander is an anthem, so when I go to potentially remove this counter from Fertilid, it'll still be a 1-1. One, one. So, all right, I'm going to cast a Skull Clamp and uh, go ahead and try and equip that to the Fertilitid. It is a 3-1. I'm going to attack for three. Yeah, I'll attack you, cast with a 3-1. It's a 3-1? Yes, so because of Skull Clamp. Mm, uh, you're in white. Are you like trying to ruin my mother of ruined dreams? All, all block and give really? up. Yeah. Action from green. Yep. After blocks are declared for damage, I'll sack, or uh, excuse me, I will remove a counter from Fertilid. It will die, triggering Conrad and Skull Clamp. And I'll search for a land after I draw. Is that right? That's above my pay grade to know better. Trying to be better at that, but uh, um, we each take a damage, unfortunately, from Sir Conrad. I'll draw two cards. I will then search for other land. I'll just do a planes because we're running a little low. And I'll get a, another warrior. I will play land for turn. Thankfully, finally drew one. It's going to be a myriad landscape tapped. Maybe another warrior. And I will equip one of my warriors with skull clamp it is a two no a three one and i will pass the turn okay untap keep draw let's let's fix our mana first and then try and solve the problem that is sir conrad i'll play a swamp jeff don't you don't you try and not think you're the scariest it's not a problem <laughs> not a problem. Yeah, I, we're literally. I'm, I'm, I'm the one who I'm the one who's hurting and is having their strategy kind of shut off I, because of it. Because I I can't I can't race the um the drain I would do on myself right now to do Jun sack sort of stuff. I'll pay two. I'll play the Goblin Anarchomancer, and that just says each spell you cast that is red or green costs one less to cast. So that's pretty good. I'll play a Goblin Matron enters the battlefield search your library for a goblin card reveal that card put it in your hand then shuffle and see if there's something that fails me out oh what's that? i'm gonna grab murder uh munitions expert that's still a potential answer it's a great one i've never even seen that one yeah so let's um let's pay one one red and we'll play a goblin instigator 
because it's discounted. When it enters the battlefield, I get a goblin token. I have like one goblin token in my whole collection, and it's this this little guy's time to shine for all these years. Here we go. A little, little top hat guy. Nice. Uh, I'll, I'll pass from there. Y'all know I have this in hand, though, and I have the mana up to do it, so don't don't at me. <laughs> All right, start of the turn. With your, with your, bi with your big scary thing. Sorry, right, Cass. Good I'm good. Ripwing Cod's gate goes to one suspend counter, and I debate about drawing a card or triggering the thing. I will tap two blue and cast um, Otherworldly Gaze. Uh, that trigger is Vega, I draw a card. And then look at the top three cards. Oh, uh, sure, Sir Conrad. Yep. I will then draw a card for the turn. I will play Glacial Pools. Uh, I will uh, trigger Myriad Landscape. Yeah. Nice. Everyone else has done it, so you gotta. Island, Island. Uh, I will pay three life and uh, flash back deep analysis and draw three cards. Pass the turn. At the end of your turn, I will activate Sir Conrad, and each player will mill a card. I'm uh, milling Tamarat, so that will trigger Sir Conrad, and then we'll see what Carlos gets as well. Am I dead? You're not dead. Maybe. Maybe. You mill a card. Ah. Mill a card, and act one activation from Sir Conrad as well. Planes. I'll be right back. I need to get a water. Uh, I'm going to draw and play out Gate to the Afterlife. Oh, that's a lot of that. text. A lot of text. What does it do, uh, the, Jeff? You don't... You just, just the top part's all you need to worry about. The second part deals with another card that's a rare that I can't even play. So uh, the top part is whenever a, a non-token creature you control dies, I gain one life, and then I may dis draw a card, and if I do, discard a card. So that lets me do some... I might respond to that. I got three. All right. I'm going to, uh, while that's on the stack, cast Beast Within on Sir Conrad. I'll activate Sir Conrad to mill everyone. One. Nice. You get a 3-3 three, three green beast. Use my last mana to play the Santarium Skeleton. All right. I'll go ahead and take my turn now. I'll untap. Draw for turn. All right, uh, Jeff, I'm going to attack you with a 3-1 Skull Clamped Warrior. I don't really want you to draw cards, but okay. <laughs> I will block with uh, the Stinkweed Imp. You don't have uh, your guy out, so I'm less concerned about that. Okay, I'm gonna draw two, and you will have your guy die. Include up dies, and then uh, get to the afterlife will trigger. I will gain a life, and I can draw a card. If I do, I can draw a card. I don't have a sack outlet right now, so there's only limited ways I can path or skull clamp. So, uh, oh, the um, yeah, because the the anthem makes it even more difficult. Yeah, it's sort of a little bit of a non-bow with the two, but it's definitely still worth it. So, oh, 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 skull clamp is skull yeah. clamp. It's, it's a design mistake. Oh yeah, skull clamp <laughs> is definitely a busted card, but uh, it's sort of probably how it's. This is probably how it's supposed to work, actually. It probably should have just yeah. been plus one, plus zero, or something. I'm going to pay three, and thanks to Jeffrey, I'm going to Far Wanderings with uh, Threshold. Uh, instead, search your library for three basic lands, put them into play tapped. Do you sound like, uh, make it sound like I haven't been helpful this game? I don't know if that was worth tw 12 life, but, uh, you know, <laughs> there's a silver lining, I guess. I'll get a forest, two planes, one... I don't know if I'm going to do anything, though. Everyone else is really scary. <laughs> I legitimately am going to run and out of uh, basics. I I knew this was... Yeah, it's just funny. But, um... Yes, you say that, yet I feel like I'm doing nothing right now, and I kind of just have stuff that's here, existing, and that's it. It's um, like one card, two cards away. But I have no way to get them. Okay, I'll then play a forest as land for turn. Yeah. Get me a fourth one. There's there's the turn that you've been looking to have. Yeah, I feel okay now. I at least did Maja stuff at least at one point in this game. Mm -hmm. I will cast Spring Bloom Druid. Sacking this forest. And I'll go get two more basics. And tapped. I'm going to equip a warrior. And go ahead and... Move this to seven now. I've already gone to my attack step. And 
yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. I just, that's my deck. Just made a bunch of warriors <laughs> and played a bunch of lands. So there we go, fast turn. Hey, you did the thing, and the thing. that's important. That's a litmus. That's a litmus test, especially since it's the first time you've played it. It's true. Yeah. I, yeah. I will untap, upkeep, draw for turn. That, that's kind of cooking with gas. Let's uh, let's see if we have like mana to do things. Let's do one. Feed the signet. Three. I'll play a mayhem double. Ooh, that is good. I I I thought so. And let's do Ashnod's Altar. So Ashnod's Altar is on the stack. On the stack, yep. Yeah. All right, um, I do think I will Path to Exile that creature. The Maybe. Mayhem Devil? Yeah. Oh. All right, so that gets exiled. I will go find a land tap. It's one of my best removal spells right there. I use two out of four of them. I mean, that's a real, that's a really good target. So I, I do does not exile blame. it, FYI. So. Yeah, yeah, I got him, got him tucked under there with my uh, with my Grum Gully. Supposed to grab. When in doubt, just grab a mountain. I think. Jeff, do you have uh, a favorite commander? Uh, I'm gonna pay one. I'm gonna play Skull Clamp. Oh, on mine. actually, good um, Skull Clamp. And then. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing some dancing. Uh, I'm gonna sack my goblin token to the altar, uh, make two colorless mana. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna use one of those colorless mana to lamp the instigator, which will kill it, and I'll draw two cards. Thankfully, you don't. You're not able uh, to play uh, Phyrexian altar. No, no, that would be that would be very good. Which is why that Skirk Prospector would have been fantastic if I had, like, gone and tried to find it. True. Uh, so I have I have a colorless floating right now. I'm just going to keep going down the line. I'm going to clamp my bird, uh, draw two cards. The skies are clear. Vega can go anywhere she wants. Yeah, he can. Fortunately, I am, I am not drawing. We need to sack... I need to sack the recruiter to the Ashnod's like, altar. Make another, uh, yeah, yeah. Two, make another two uh, Carlos mana. Doesn't matter for you because you have, even though it's a two-two, you have the sack outlet. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll use one of that mana to clamp the matron and draw two more cards. We have one colorless floating. Fortunately, let's let's do this. Um, God, math is math is hard with discounts. Stay in school, kids. <laughs> I think it's just more efficient to do this right now. Uh, I'm going to use my floating Carlos list, tap my mountain, and I'll end with the Bogart shenanigans. Like, yeah, I missed a little bit of damage, but I, I kind of hope that I would draw into something a little bit more exciting. But sure. I'll call it there. Um, Riftwing, Cloudscape, uh, I cast it, enters play, that yep. draw trigger, and then I am going to bounce a thing. What seems like a good thing to bounce? Oh, I'll bounce the uh, Ashnod's Altar. Yeah, cool. Is this on my end step? This is on my upkeep. Okay, okay. I want to make sure, because I would have to discard a card if it was end step. Oh, sure. Sorry, I thought you went to end step. End step happens. This is all on board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, you, you okay, cool, cool. Okay, okay. Regardless, so it's not like... Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I, I just want to make sure, because dis discard matters. Yeah, yeah, Discard yeah. matters. You drop your card for the turn. I will play for Tranquil Cove in a life. I will... Play Murmuring Mystic. Ooh, that's a good one. And then yeah, I like that. Play Late to Dinner, uh, targeting Meteor Golem. Oh. Ooh. I really realize I should have let the Ashnods thing stay in play. Uh, I mean, now you get to blow up another thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I will blow up your Skull Clamp. I get a bird and a food token, and I will end my turn. Go to untap, go to draw. Food token real quick. Um, we are going to say that Momo is bird. Oh, yeah. Trying to figure out what I can and can't do. I was holding my breath of which skull clamp you're going to kill because I knew one of them would die. I do think yours is probably better right now because you have access to I, I can be more it. proactive with it. Yeah. All right, I'm going to play a, a workshop assistant and then I'm actually going to pass to you, Carlos. Go. Okay, end of turn. I guess I do it. I will myriad landscape, sack it. I'm going to count really fast how many n n basics I have because... I'm like kind of terrified that we're going to die to the overrun. 
I don't I don't have any of those currently. I'd love, I don't lie. I'd love to have them, but I have three more basics and I have four basics. Oh my gosh. Uh, draw for turn. All right, well, we just got to attack before someone wipes all these warriors from the face of the earth. Yeah, I'm going to send all of these. Well, let's send the 3-1 at EK, and I'll send the rest at... I'll lower that life total. That's a that's an insurmountably large life total. <laughs> um... Plus, Sir Conrad just hanging out in the command zone, ready to come back and play. Oh, yeah. actually, I forgot. I have a 3-3 beast, too. Yeah. That's my other... That's right. Man, I don't know. I don't envy you. I'll be honest. I feel like splitting it up is a bad option. That's, like, the worst of all the at, options. At, at this point, yeah. yeah. And, and that's, why the, that's why the decision's so difficult. And I feel like, although Jeff has done the most damage and has some things, he doesn't have his... You'd have to tap out to place commander and only has two cards in hand. I think I gotta go at you, Cass. So I'm sending 10 2 twos your way. There's 10 2 twos. Yeah, there's a 1 1 green one that's the Spring Bloom Druid. Oh, sorry, it's the, it's a 2 2. Um, it's a, so there's a green one and then there's white. So there's nine white warriors, 2 2 warriors, and one green Spring Bloom Druid. It's the only permanent yeah. uh, non token. And, and then this 3-1 is going at EK. Prevent all damage. Yeah. White creatures. Oh, you do fog? Prismatic extreme. So prevent oh, all damage. Oh, yeah. Damage. Color of your choice from Information on board. Yeah. No. We'll draw a card. And then I will block with uh, Rick Cloud Skate, Murmuring Mystic, and a bird token, Meteor Golem to kill three additional ones. So the. Um, yeah. Okay. Three additional? Or just total? Uh, three, three tokens. Three of the tokens attacking me die. Because yeah. I, my blue creatures and colorless creatures still do damage to your... Right. Not those colorless creatures. Um, the oh, bird so is my, a so my blue stuff, creature. My stuff would deal damage, but not take damage then, correct? Well, no. Okay. My, the one... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there is a green 2-2 two, two coming your way, Kess. I assume you block that with the meteor goal? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If there's a green thing, I can block, I'll block meteor goal. Okay, so you, yeah, the Spring Blue uh, Druid dies and two other things die. And, um, yeah, this, the 3 this 1 is, uh, will die if yeah, you die. So block. there's a 3 1 heading at me that I, yeah. Um, yeah, you won't take any damage. I mean, I might as well. I might as well block okay. it. Yeah. All right. I'll block it with the Ringleader. Okay, I'll draw two cards. I'll give you, I'll give you two cards at least. I won't give you 20. Yeah. I'm running into some dead cards though with all these uh, go search for some basic lads. <laughs> this deck, yeah, it's oh well. All right, I'm gonna play Eternal well, the, Witness, getting back at Beast ah. Within, and I guess yeah, this is funny. Like everything, all of a sudden, is sort of dead <laughs> in my head. <laughs> oh, that's really it's really ironic. I guess I'm also gonna play Timeless Witness because I have nothing else to do. And I'm getting back Path to Exile. So I'm going to get Wood Elves out there. It'll be my last forest. Uh, all right. Comes into play and taps. I'll get a dude. And I'll equip my Eternal Witness uh, with Skull Clamp. That's the turn. Okay. Suddenly, suddenly Carlos is a problem, and we have to deal with him. And he, but he's got he's got removal and open mana, so this is tricky. I'll untap. I will draw for turn. You can just do that. Uh, Wish I had my skull clamp right now. Uh, let's play another cool card that maybe someone will appreciate. Uh, let's tap two. Let's play Frog Tosser Banneret. It's a 1-1 one, one goblin with haste. It says goblin spells and rogue spells you cast cost one less to cast. I love that one. So right now, my red goblins cost two less to cast. And your green you know goblins. Like? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> am, am I green? My The, like, one other one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I did an order lull. Uh, but I will pay one and play an impact drummers. I can split things down the middle, at least. I'm going to pay two mana because... I'm gonna play a red goblin. 
So it is discounted by two. I'm gonna play a Beetleback Chief. It's a four mana two two. I'm obviously paying a lot less. When it enters the battlefield, create two one one red goblin creature tokens. Start with that. Uh, that's gonna trigger impact tremors. Everyone's gonna take three instances of one damage. I'll pay one, I'll play the goblin surgeon. Impact tremors will trigger if it resolves and everyone will take another one. Ooh, cool. I have some haste, but I feel like I need to like do some, you know, hold some stuff back for these big tokens. By uh, big, you pass. mean many tokens. They're just tokens. yeah, the the many two two. This is yeah. Uh, you said you're done. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead, Cass. All right. Uh, I'm having upkeep trigger. Okay, there's a lot of scary things going on. What do we want to do here? We're gonna draw a card at the beginning of my turn. How many tokens do you have? Seven? Seven one ones, yep. I also have a Eternal Witness, Timeless Witness, and Wood Elves, and a Maja. And none of my tokens are untapped. Well, yeah. We can play Scholar of Ages. Um, three, three, five, blue, blue. Uh, return uh, two target instant or sorcery cards from your graveyard to your hand. I'm going to return Quiet Speculation and Late to Dinner. Late to Dinner. Real good. I'm going to then uh, recast Quiet Speculation. I get another bird token. Uh, and then I'm going to search for three more flashback spells to put them in my graveyard. Saving Grass, a Momentary Blink, and a Ray of Distortion, which is just a four mana destroy target artifact or enchantment or flashback for six. Carlos, you're, you're popping off over there with that token. This is the worst thing ever. I thought you were drawing like a like a Charlie Brown vest for a minute, and then I realized now you're, you're trying to draw the Tarkir. I'm trying um, to draw the, yeah, the Tarkir warrior, dude. Play uh, Path of Ancestry naming spirits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I am done. <clears throat> All right, my turn. I'm going to untap. Draw. This dude has pockets because every pants should have pockets in them. <laughs> I thought he was All saying right. yas for a second. I sh he should. Well, he is now. <laughs> All right. I'm going to pay four and play out Strands of Night. Old cards. I think from there I pass. Go, Carlos. All right. This is where we pray, friends. All right. So untap, draw for turn. <sighs> so ironic. I will play Canyon Jerboa. It's just is what happens when you play a deck for the first time and try to figure it out. But You're like learning. That's if I thing. if I had more basics in land, like it maybe would be over because I could go search for three lands minimum this turn, and all my mm. creatures will get plus three plus three just because of this little guy. But instead, that's crazy. I get nothing. So, uh, well, I'll get one. I'll get that's one. also it's also just like the order in which you drew your deck as well. Yeah, yeah. You could you could chalk it up to that a little that's bit. That's true. Too. I will cast Kadama's Reach and get one planes into play and fail to find the other. Any response to that? Yeah, I have a response. I'm going to tap the forest to feed the Rakdos Signet, and I'm going to Munitions Expert your Jerboa for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then there will be an Impact Tremors trigger as well. All right, it'll be dead. I will... Actually, I'm going to fail to f put one into hand. <laughs> or sorry, I'm going to... Well, no, I might draw one. Never mind. I'll put the planes into play tapped. Um, the Jerbo will be dead. I'm double checking, but yep, I have only non basics of lands left. What an interesting thing. Okay, well, um, it does give me a regular warrior that I'll put this one out here because it has summoning sickness. Um, uh, there's going to be an impact tremors trigger from the munitions expert uh, right. entering the battlefield, yep. so y'all are going to take a damage. Okay, killed my one and only mouse in my deck. I mean, come on. Um, I'm worried about us dying. I, I mean, I don't have anything currently, but I will Yeah. send everything at you, EK. Yeah. I'm afraid of gonna We're going to get to have some fun. Yeah. We're going to get to have some fun, though. Yeah. Uh, so how many how many things do I have heading my way? Um, there are... Of just two two variety, there are eight of them. Seven of them are white, okay. and one is green. And then there is a two three commander, plumps other creatures. There is a three two, and a wait. Okay. Yeah, four one. So we're gonna do a little dance here. Uh, 
because this is where the surgeon is actually going to come in handy. Yeah, let's let's do it this way. So Maja yeah. is being chumped. Yep, Maja is going to be chumped by the a three three. Timeless witness is a three two. It is being killed or yep. chumped. Uh, it's it's being traded. So I'm going to put a one one goblin in front of it. You're you're going to trade with my goblin. Get a get a value trade. Oh, I usually trade in my mind is like they both die. But even yeah 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 yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah no, I'm just You're making sure. Good. So my yeah, witness nice. lives blocked blocked. Um yep. the uh, four two. Yeah yeah that has another one one in front of it. Okay. And, and then, then you have two eight. two twos with a beetle back chief. Okay. And then and the munitions expert's gonna block another one. Okay, so three of these. So there's five total not blocked. That Correct. Would be so ten. I'm gonna take ten. Yeah. But before damage, uh -huh. I'm going to sack the two. I'm gonna sack one goblin to the surgeon to regenerate the munitions expert. Okay. And then I'm gonna sack another goblin to the surgeon to regenerate the chief. So those are just blocking two regular two twos. Regular two twos. Okay. Your eternal witness is is blocked, but then there's nothing to block it, so it's fogged. Oh yeah, that's a four one. I sacked the ones that the two biggest things were blocking. Correct. Gotcha. Okay, so those live. Blo so you take ten. Neither uh, of these yeah, die. So Maja doesn't die. Uh, Maja will because I have a three three blocking the two three. Oh okay, great. Okay, so Maja uh, dies. In front of your two twos, I have another two two and th another one one, but I have regenerated them. Which of your creatures I'm are dealing 10. damage to my creatures? Um, ringleader. What about any of the two twos? We have two two twos bouncing off of each other. So I have a two two bouncing off of one of your two two. Well, that'll kill and then mine. I'm blocking. Lives. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. And uh, then yeah, because it'll twice. it'll regenerate, and then I have a one one blocking another two two, and that'll regenerate. Well, then mine doesn't die. Well, it will eventually die to that because yeah. Maja is dying. So. Yep. All right. So Maja dies. And two of my creatures yep. die, and then Eternal Witness doesn't die because it was sacked. So that's combat. You took your 10. You did yep. it. I'm taking my 10 right now. Okay. All right. So with that, I will... Um... Oh, no. Yeah. So now Eternal Witness dies. I knew it. I knew it would die. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep, so yep, Eternal yep. Witness yeah, dies second main. So... Or not actually. But as soon as Maj is gone. Draw two. But I did realize, so I have these tokens technically see the graveyard, so I have two years from Bogart shenanigans, and I'm just going to have them deal two damage to Carlos. Okay. All right. Second main, I'm going to cast Blasting Station, which is a cool one. That's doesn't good things have never come from Blasting Station. Yeah. It doesn't right now do much because uh, it's only untaps when a creature comes into play. So. Mm -hmm. But it's any creature, right? Whenever a creature... Oh, it is any creature. You're right. FYI. <laughs> oh, yeah. I always, I always forget about any. the any creature. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I guess I'll just clamp a few things. I'm going to clamp a uh, tapped warrior. Yeah, I kill the token. I draw two cards. I think I'll do it again. If I tap too much mana, then I don't have beast within mana. So let's not tap at least. I have two more. <laughs> All right, well, I'll move to my discard phase, I believe. Let's double make sure. And I'm going to discard some great cards. And Nature's Lore, Haro, yeah, I guess that's still useful, and Grasslands, which is a land that I could have played this turn and then searched for nothing with it. So <laughs> we will... And maybe, like, the, the landfall, the one landfall trigger would be relevant. Yeah, but the other maybe. cards are better in my hand. So I'll pass the turn. Untap. On my upkeep, I am going to a one and worldly tutor, an uncommon from sixth edition. I'm going to grab Carter Doom Scourge with my worldly tutor. I don't have a combo win, so I have to um, try and get creative. Uh, so I will draw Carter for my turn, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pay four and play Cardor. We all have to attack. Next uh, everyone so that's not everything me. has to attack, and it is can't. And be then you. correct. Gotcha. And um, whenever an attacking creature dies, each opponent loses one life, and you gain one life. It's a good thing I have a one 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 blocker when you when you do that. So <laughs> yeah. nice. Uh, Impact Tremors is going to trigger, and everyone's going to take a damage. Oh, and actually, I overpaid for that. Goblin or Narcomancer is reducing the cost by one. Nice. There's actually something really tricksy and kind of funny that I could do here if I wanted to, but I don't think. I don't think I should, only because if you guys survive, then I'm gonna die. I do it, because uh, you can. Um, so you can attack with your own stuff, 
and then sack it during combat after it is declared as an attacker. So it's an attacking creature. And then you can get the drain that way. The drain? It's really stupid. So when Carter says whenever an attacking creature dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain a life. So say like I declare munitions expert as an attacker and then go to sack it. It's technically an attacking creature. Oh, wow. Uh, but I feel like I need a board just in case. So I'm not I'm not going to play the Ashnod's altar that cast bounced my hand. Uh, I'm going to pass from there. <sighs> nice. So I have so, to attack this turn. Draw a card. Yeah. I'll play Archetype of Imagination. Ooh. Uh, oh, that's, a, that's a good one when everything's that's real. goaded. That's really good here. Yeah. I will attack. I'm going to attack Carlos. So for 13, 14. Oh, yeah. I can't even block. All right. So, well, I did put this in here because I knew I would have to swing out sometimes. My ultimate secret tech, Tango. Five. Uh, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. Attacking creatures don't untap during their controller's next untap steps. <laughs> oh. That's tricksy. I am going to play a boreal shell, tap, and then I am going to path my turn. All right, at the end of your turn, I'm going to activate Strands of Night. Gain two life, sacrificing a swamp. I'm going to go get a Demon's Disciple and put it onto the battlefield. When it enters the battlefield, each player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. I'm going to sacrifice workshop assistant. Yeah, I'm gonna all sacrifice timeless witness. I'll I'll sacrifice munitions expert and Bogart shenanigans will deal one damage to Jeff. All right, with workshop assistant dying, I will return Ashnod's altar from my graveyard to my hand. Go to my turn and I will tap draw. I will pay 3 and lose 2 life. Play Ashnod's Altar. Responses. Um, You're playing Ashnod's Altar now? Yeah. You don't have any shenanigans on board, do you, with it? We're good. No Me current too. shenanigans, I'll say, no. <laughs> All right. With Ashnod's Altar on board, I will sacrifice three creatures. I will sacrifice Demon's Disciple, the Sanitarium Skeleton, and the Reassembling Skeleton. And with sacrificing those three as well, I will gain three life and loot three times from the eight to the afterlife it's card dark deal loot undead gladiator and get rid of bantu's monument play a soul ring which carlos come on seriously i know <laughs> up the witch's cottage to play a dark ritual and so i have three black and five colorless and with that i will go to play sir conrad it has count, saw it coming, which is a, a counter spell and it has foretell. That's not relevant. It basically I'm casting cancel. Yep. Sure, sure <laughs> Good old cancel. So Sir Conrad is camp, uh, countered and it will go to my graveyard. Put it actually. in the graveyard. Because you can transonite uh, it. Yep. Okay. So I can transonite it, sacrifice the swamp to play Sir Conrad back out. Uh, with the ability on the stack. I will beast within your Ashnod's altar. I guess you're trying to make this difficult for me, aren't you? <laughs> yes, actually. I don't know. I don't like that. Uh, no, it's fair. I don't have a response for that, so that'll happen. Ashnod's yeah. altar will go. Sir Conrad comes back in. And he can draw a beast. <laughs> <laughs> I get another one? Oh, man. It's yeah. A dream come true. That's all you ever wanted. Yeah, I think that's where I am done for the turn, though. Uh, you have to go to combat with. Um, oh, that's right. Yeah, I gotta go combat. Beast. Everything. Yeah, not the beast. Oh, so the Every, awesome. Everything that everything that can attack has to attack. Essentially. Yeah, I'm. I am the easiest to attack. Missing it at cast. Yeah, so I got a one one, a four two, and a three three. A one one, a four two, and a three three. I will block yep. the one one with my three two. I will block okay. the four two with my one one, okay. and I'll take a three three. So, uh, how many how many attacking creatures died? One. Just the one. One, just one. Just no, just, so, oh, attacking creatures, just one. Just yeah, one. just attacking. So attacking if an attacking creature dies, you guys lose one life and I gain a life. Yep. And then there'll be two creatures that died, so certain card red will also trigger twice, so you all will take two and I will gain two. And then you mill three, correct? Yeah, and then I'll mill three. That is like Correct, right down. Um, which no creatures off of it, so no problem. 
That's karma from you getting five creatures earlier. <laughs> Actually, and I gain one more life, by the way, and I do get to rummage or loot one. We'll get rid of that. The heraldic man. Second main with the, the loot, though, I got I got a land, so I'll play my land for a turn in a swamp, and now it'll be a turn. Yep. All right. I got four warriors and a wood elves. Woo! Uh, draw for turn. Way more warriors than before. All right, I will skull clamp a what else? I have response. Okay. I have priority first. I'm gonna go to go for the throat, Conrad. Yep, I was waiting for it. <laughs> I I'm guess... gonna put Conrad in the graveyard. I can response and get a damage in. Oh. oh I'm not oh, in response, actually, I'm gonna do something though too. Actually, I'm gonna oh. activate Sir Conrad and mill everyone one. I got nothing. It was just me having my day. All right, so now the Wood Elves will die. And go for the Throat resolves on yep. top of the Wood Elves. We lose a life from Go for the Throat? Is when, when Sir Conrad dies, do we uh, lose a life? No, it's whenever another creature. Okay, so I'll draw two. Okay, I will now... Cass, I will attack you for just four damage, or I can play an Anthem and attack you for eight, meaning I don't want to lose any of my warriors. So you can take four... Or I'll play an anthem and make them two twos. I'm not going to block any of them with the flying three two that I have. Right. Okay. Fair enough. I'll send four one ones at you then. It's it's two one. It's four one ones. Is that basically what That's the it. deal is? Yep. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. I'll take four. Cool. I'll then play Vitu Gazi Guild Mage. What? There it is. There's Ding. something. I have. It takes six mana to make a three three. So, and then it's four to populate. So I could, uh, oh, I will play my land for turn. It's an Urza's Factory. I can pay seven and make a two-two. <laughs> pay seven and tap it to make a two-two. There's a mana stink for you. Yeah, there's a couple lands like this that make um, creatures, but I will pass the turn. Uh, untap, draw for turn. I'll play a forest. I'll play that Ashnod's Altar in my hand. Yeah, okay, let's just, let's just go straight to combat. Let's do three five six let's do nine at arlos all right all right so i will first sack a creature to do one to your one one in response i will sack the one one to the surgeon and i will regenerate the ringleader that's gonna gonna trigger carter and that's gonna trigger bogart shenanigans so an attacking creature is dying so everyone's losing a life and i'm gaining a life and then a goblin is going to the graveyard and i will have that deal one damage to cast all right take two uh so we each lose one yep i will pass to exile your churgen okay that is exile i'll get a land uh actually you know what in response i'll sack it to the astronauts altar and then carter will do its thing again and bogart shenanigans will do its thing again i'll have that extra damage go on to cast as well which damage so you'll lose a life and take a damage if it matters that they are different <laughs> you've already got attackers right yeah so yeah, I, I this is attacking he has uh carlos hasn't declared his blocks yet no I yeah i will then uh make a centaur token um, and when that comes into play, it'll untap the blasting station. Yep. For time, I just will get a token instead of drawing. Just a green one. Okay, it's not anything special. And then I'll leave the rest of those. I will populate and make a, another centaur. And these two will block your non-regenerating creatures. These two three threes. Okay. We'll block your two, two, twos. Yep. So two goblins are going to hit the graveyard. And then, so Bogart shenanigans is going to deal two. And then that's two more drains from Cardur. It's four damage to point somewhere. I'll have. Well, yeah. It's not four damage, right? It's Individual two drains. Damage. And then two, two pings. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to have the two pings go at Cass. In response, I will sack this food and gain through. I totally forgot you had the food. All right. Um, I will take three. So you'll, you'll take your three. And then in the combat cleanup step. I'm going to sack the ringleader to the Ashnod's altar and y'all are going to get drained again. And then I'll have that one ping go on to Carlos. Alrighty. I'll go to my second main. I'm going to cast Bartel just to say I did. Yeah. When, I, when that enters the battlefield, everyone will take a damage from impact tremors. I'm going to pass from there. You guys are no longer goaded. I am ready to die. My turn. 
Man, tapped. Yeah. Right. That food token from however many turns ago coming in clutch here. Hey, you know, sometimes you are late to dinner. And, yeah. and yeah, yeah. you were late to notice that I was late to dinner. <laughs> Cast late to dinner a second time. <laughs> uh, exactly. I will uh, get Scholar of Ages back into play. This will return Momentary Blink to my hand, as well as Saw It coming. And then I make a bird token. I will cast Momentary Blink, targeting Scholar of Ages. I will make another bird token. That's really, really good. Getting Momentary Blink back and Factor Fiction back. Wait, can you do that forever then? Yeah. Wow. And then I will play Factor Fiction. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, the cards are Ephemerate, Swords of Plowshares, Whisper, Angel, or McKindy Stampede. I'm going to target Carlos. Let's do the creature and the artifact and then everything else. I'll let the creature and the artifact go to my graveyard. Or I guess I'll swing three at EK. That seems, done. That seems fair. I, I tried to kill you. I have to discard three cards. I'll discard Chain of Manipulation, Farm, and Sends a Listman. I'm done. Gonna untap. I gotta draw. I'll tap these two and sacrifice this swamp and pay two life. Bring back Sir Conrad. I'm gonna pay a swamp and a soul ring to play this gorging vulture. What's that do? Oh, uh, that does. It is a two-two, and when it enters the battlefield, I uh, put the top four cards of my library into my graveyard. So I mill four. Oh, that's bad. Crypt incursion, grave digger, death denied, and a swamp. So one life. That's grave one digger. Life. Yeah. Okay. I will go. attack EK. There we go. Let's just attack EK. Let's <laughs> see where we go with that. <laughs> so it's a plash here, Carter. <laughs> okay. So I will. I will gain four. Oh uh, no, it's toughness. So it's gain three. It's power. So that's a thing. <laughs> He's not a goblin, so there's no Bogart shenanigans. Uh, so you have two three threes and a four uh, four two. Yep. I'll, I'll block the four two. Great. Uh, with my six five. The oval chase will die, right? Yep. Uh, with that dying, I will gain a life, and then I can we'll all draw lose a life. Yep. You'll all lose a life, and then I can go to draw a card. But instead of drawing a card, I really want to dredge five. Yep. Oh no. So before this dredge happens, you take. Okay. On. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so I'm, I'm on seven before the dredge. I'm going to dredge for five. I can't see him. And all lands. No! It was, all lands. It was five straight lands. Uh, he, Whoa! Oh, there, was, there, was, there was a Dakmore. There was a Dakmore. There was a Dakmore that... So, and then I have to go to discard, though, so I will discard the imp, though, which will trigger Sir Conrad once, though, as well. Oh. I was hoping to get off more than, than one. I didn't think I'd get a turn, but I will end of turn populate. I'll get a third centaur without summoning sickness. Untap these warriors, draw a card for turn. All right, I'm gonna cast Kongming. Yeah, I won't shoot you, guess. I'll just lay it out. Kongming, Sleeping Dragon. Then cast Overrun. Let's just see how much damage I have. I have three, four, five, six, seven creatures that can attack, 43 damage. I'm gonna send these two at you, um, EK. Yeah. And then the rest of yeah. you, Jeff. Um, okay. I'm going to block the little dude with with Artel. So you'll take seven unless you do something, EK. Yep. Uh, um, nope, I got I got nothing. Okay. And then um, uh, I'm, Jeff. I'm, I'm dying off that, but we have two things that are dying from trades. So we'll take two from Sir Conrad. Let's, yeah. Okay. So, so, so Jeff, you have. Uh, I'm shutting up. You have. So what, um, what what are the warriors and what's the. Everything's plus four plus four. So the smallest thing is a five five trample. One two centaurs, centaur or two? Two centaur, two okay. warriors, two centaurs, and a Vitu Ghazi guild mage. Is that only 31? Um, it's five creatures. So five times four with the, pl the, the pump. So that is um, 20. And then two, eight, nine, 10, 11. So 31. And so I'm going to throw the bird in front of one of the centaurs doesn't really matter and then sir conrad does matter though just the way the triggers work though is what's killing me i'll throw uh sir conrad in front of the guild mage how much damage is that so it's 31 and he'll block six of it so yeah 25, 25 damage but he'll gain a bunch of life from the creatures dying i do gain life from the gate to after i'll gain one per creature okay that's where you're gaining life when, okay. when a creature he controls dies Yes. Oh, okay. So you'll you'll gain two life. Okay. I can deal three damage to Jeff's face. Oh shoot. Okay. Let's do this. Let's. Okay. So you made your blocks. Everyone's blocked. 
Well, currently, my warrior and EK's commander are going to die. That's two. Yes. And then, Jeff, you you're, and my Vitugazi, your commander and my Vitugazi are set to die. So it's five. And your other creature is set to die. So yeah, five creatures. Four. Well, I guess sure Conrad doesn't count himself, so only four. If you blocked Vitugazi, you should sacrifice Vitu. Oh, but you needed to Right. It, that's, if I sack it, oh, it's I not doing the damage. Vitugazi. Yeah, that sucks. Well, let's do this first. So I will sacrifice the one that's being blocked by EK. So that one will die. I'll do one damage directly to Jeff. You, me, and Cass will take one from Conrad. Right. Yep. Then I will populate and make a creature. Make a centaur. It untaps the blasting station. Honestly, you should sack everything that Jeff is blocking. Sacrifice the thing he's blocking that's not V2 Gazi Guild Mage. Do a damage. Then populate again. Then sacrifice the, the Guild Mage. You then draw two cards, which could just give you the win. But we don't know. But that's the order I would do it in. Okay, I'll sacrifice the one... Which one? You're blocking a warrior, I assume? <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, warrior will die. And yeah, you take a damage to your face, Jeff. We each take one. Uh, this will be... We'll, we'll take a second one, correct? Yeah, yeah, we've taken two so far. And then I'll populate. Then I'll sacrifice the Vitu Gazi Guild Mage. We each take one. I draw two cards. And no swords to plowshares. Anything relevant? No. Like like a creature. Well, yeah. Oh no. Okay. Ouch. I. Uh, but I think Jeff, you got it. So now damage is dealt. All of us die. Yeah. You and me take no damage now. We're both at one. Ek dies. Yeah, because I'm taking some combat damage. No Wait. more creatures are dying. You've you've removed all creature death from the yeah. combat stat. Oh, okay. That one guess swings in kills me. Oh yeah, then Kess wins. Okay. Oh no, these went up at him, so you just take 14. Uh, well, I'll equip my Kong Ming and pass the turn. Untap. It's relevant. Card. I will play McKinney Stampede. I will attack Jeff with everything other than three birds that are also there that are attacking Carlos. Good. And I'll keep uh, and Mother Runes will stay untapped, just in case. <laughs> that is nine. Nine times two is 18, 19, 20, 21, 31, 32, 33, 34 flying damage at Jeff and 10 flying damage at Carlos. All I uh, no one, said I, one creature. Flying. I don't know. You might have like a weird. I have nothing. I have nothing. <laughs> there, there are one mana fogs. That's true. Nice. Wow. That game really came down to the wire. I made some mistakes because I probably could have closed it out myself. But that's what happens, and Alex was able to take the win. It was a blast to have Alex and EK on the show today, and I really hope you take some time to go check out their content. I also encourage you to try out Artisan Commander. It's not hyperbole when I say that this is the most enjoyable time I've had building decks in the last two, three, four, maybe even five years. It's so cool to try out some different cards that you just can't otherwise, because you just don't have access to all the rares and mythics. It's a blast and it is also super cheap because it's just commons and uncommons. I really encourage you to check it out. Since you made it to the end of our show, I take it that that means you liked it? If so, let's smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I encourage you to check us out on Patreon. It's only $2 a month and you get access to our Discord, game nights, giveaways, a bunch more. It's at patreon.com slash kingdomstv. Either way, thanks so much for watching and keep it nerdy.